the question is if if zero then now again the first thing which i could do in this question is somehow get rid of the mod sign which i can do is by squaring the terms i can take mod x in this side and then square this but that won't solve the purpose because means that can solve the purpose i'm not saying that won't solve the purpose that can solve the purpose but that may make the process a bit complicated by looking at this at the first side because i have a two degree term x square in this case so to make things simpler what we can do is we can divide the question into different cases and then try solving this question okay i have given you a hint you try this question on your own the options are Five. Okay. Okay. Now, just a minute. I can directly say that the answer is D. You know why? You know why? How can I say that the answer is just? It's just. There's no solution. You can't have any value of x for which this condition can hold true. Let's see. X square. This is all. This is always a positive quantity. This is always a positive quantity. This is always a positive quantity. And I also know that mod x is always greater than equal to x. Okay. Now, so if I put any value of x as as a positive quantity, no. See. If I put any value of x as a positive positive quantity, this expression is a positive term, so this is not true. If I put any value of x which is negative, then mod x is always dominating over x. So again, this this combination, these two is a positive quantity, and this whole thing is again a positive quantity. So you can't have this expression as negative, so it can't be a, can't be a solution. So the answer is D. You can solve this question in a proper way. Let's solve this question in the proper way also. How to get rid of the of that mod x sign? Assume that mod x is, this expression is positive. Assume that this expression is negative, and try solving. First case, mod x is greater than equal to zero. Sorry, x is greater than equal to zero, such so that mod x is positive. So I can write this as x square plus x plus x plus one is greater than equal to zero, which makes x plus one whole square. So this is less than equal to zero. They have asked me. From this, I get this has to be less than equal to zero. This is a you can see this is a second degree equation with the power of even power. This can't be negative. This is always positive or equal to zero. So I'll have this has to be zero because it can't be negative. So only this can be zero at max or gives x equal to minus one. But I have assumed x is greater than equal to zero, so this is not a solution. I can't don't get a solution from this first case. Let's try the second case. When x is less than zero, when x is less than zero, I'll write plus this. I have to write like this. This gets cancelled again. X square plus one is less than equal to zero, which which means x square is less than equal to minus one, which is also not true for any negative value of x. So again, we don't get a solution in second case also. So the answer is five. Okay. Now move on to the third question. The third question says that I give you n positive real numbers. Till a n, I have given you n positive real numbers whose project product product is a fixed number. And equals to c. So 
I need to find out the minimum value of till a1. I need to find the minimum value of this. So I have already told you if you have you get a question which is related to product and then minimum value of a sum, the only thing which you can think at the first sight is the AMGM inequality. So in this question again just try applying this inequality and just find the answer. The options they have given you are Okay. Sorry, this factor of two is not there here. So again, you just apply AMG inequality. I just say the answer has to be this option because in AM you'll get a denominator of n. You put that side and you'll get this answer. The answer. So this brings the answer as a. Okay. Now we move on to the next question. The fourth question, we have been given this range of x and we have been asked to find the minimum value of this expression. Okay. Now the options they have been they have given you are root 3, half, 1 by 3 and fun before you try solve this question i have a question for you why have been i given this range why is this range so important this range is important because the person who has framed or who has given this question is very aware of the fact that this question has to be solved using amgm inequality and in AMGM inequality, you know that the numbers have to be positive. So in this range, 0 to pi by 2, both sine and cos are positive. So they have given this range. If I hadn't given this range, the method you would have adopted would, and would not have been correct. The, the answer would be different because the minimum value in the, that case would can be a negative number also. Since I have been given this range, and I know that cos and sine are positive, so I am on the safe side. So, okay, try this question using the AM chain quality. Okay. So, I hope you have tried the question. The answer is what? The correct answer is D, which is 1. Let's see how the answer comes. Just apply the AM chain quality. This is greater than or equal to cos cube x by sin x, x which I will get as 2 sin x cos x or I can write it as 2 sin remember 2 sin x cos x is equal to 2 sin sin 2 x this will study in trigonometry so this is greater than equal and I know that the maximum value of sin 2 x can be 1 so this is always greater than equal to 1 right remember when I take this to the side then I get 2 sin sin here so I'll have this here as cos cube x by sin x plus sin cube x by cos x so this is the answer so this is the correct answer okay now the last question for you in this chapter of inequalities
the last question fifth question which is the last question here we are given four positive real numbers x1 x2 x3 x4 such that x1 this is 4 this is 1 these again 4 then the options are This question is just a simple application of the AMGM inequality. So I don't find it very important to discuss the solution of this question. I'll rather want you to solve this question on your own. The answer to this question is A. Now since I haven't solved this question, so I like to solve one more question which is more important or you can say more, but it's a better question than this one. This just in addition to this question, I told you that this is the last question, but since I didn't solve this question, I'll just give you another question, I'll solve that question. The question is, they have given me a question. This is 6. They have told me that this equation's roots are positive. This is C. Okay. They have told me that the roots of this equation are positive, and then they are, have asked me to find the value of B and C. The options that have been given to me are. So try this question. If you are able to solve this question, I you really are very good in maths. I would suggest at this stage when you have just started your preparation for JE, if you are able to solve this question, it's very nice. Okay. So, okay. So let's discuss the solution of this question. Let's assume that the four roots are x1, x2, x3, and x4. So I can write x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 is equal to something x1 x2 x3 x4 is equal to if you have little knowledge in equations from your equation of class 9 you know that this sum is equal to 8 which is this and this product is equal to 16 this we know now let's apply amgm inequality in this expression using am rather than gm inequality I can write x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 fourth root of 4. Now I know this expression is 8 so this is 2. This again 16 so fourth root of that is second 2. You see that these two are equal. What does it imply? This is equal to this. AM is equal to GM. What does it imply? That, that roots are equal. X1 is equal to X2 is equal to X3 is equal to X4. Now, since the roots are equal, I can write X1 equal to X2 equal to X3 equals to X4 is equal to what? It's equal to 2. 2, 2, 2, 2. It's equal to 8. Roots are equal. Now, since the root are, roots are equal, the expression becomes X minus 2 to the power 4. You expand this expression, 
and then compare the coefficients you will get the value of b as 24 and c as minus 32 so what's the correct option the correct option is c so that's how we get the answer to this question and that's how we conclude this topic or this discussion of inequality the next topic will be studying complex numbers thank you